I asked Jerry uh, a couple of days later, I said, give me a name for it. And he said, oh, maybe the Daedalus Project. And I said, why? He said, in Greek myth, he created the maze and he created the way out of the maze. Favorite Daedalus memory. Um, I was thinking about this. It's something that happens every year. So I have a bunch of these, but they're all the same thing. Uh, after a day of selling baked goods, which is usually what I do for Daedalus, um, I, I take up the tally of how much we've made at the intermission. Then I hand it to Ray Porter, who's usually the MC. I find him backstage, and then I go back down to break down the tables, and uh, I listen on the monitor for the audience response to what the total is. And usually there's like a, ah! like they can't believe that we made that much money on cookies and pies. Post, which was when I was first here, was the hat parade, which turned into the underwear parade. Uh, everybody in the green room counting the money. The picture of that, like everybody just shelling out their dollar bills and putting them in piles. And it, it kind of sums up what Daedalus does. I remember Dan Donahue talking about doing the uh, routine about, I was Tinky Winky's love slave. That was a riot. He was out in the bricks, I guess, afterwards signing autographs with the big cutout of Tinky Winky. The thing I remember the most clearly, because it was there was so much going on, um, is probably giving my speech, because I was the most excited about that. I, I really wanted a chance to honor Rex. Um, and so that was that was something that was exciting for me, but also just like the excitement of, of Daedalus. You know, it's so um, fast-paced and energetic and crazy, and everything's happening all at once. When I first, when my mother gave me a few dollars to spend at the underwear parade, I had a huge crush on a girl named Raquel, and I gave all my dollars to Raquel, who works in the costume shop, I believe. And um, she was dressed up as Cleopatra, and at the time, Egypt was my favorite thing, so kind of all worked very well. Probably the reindeer coming out uh, and accosting Ray a couple of years ago, and Ray like being up in the window taking a shower uh, and being caught, you know, mid shower. It just tickles me, you know that uh, people have applied so much great creative thought and humor to something that is actually quite serious and, you know, very profound. The second year, I was out of the country and Rex Raybould put it together, organized it. The third year, um, before we could open the Daedalus Project or perform and do the other events, Rex died of AIDS. So my most vivid memory is probably um, that night of the Daedalus, we had had for two years um, a hat parade, similar to the underwear parade now, in which people voted for their favorite hat created by a cast or a department. Uh, the first year, Rex was playing Enrico, the Mad King, in Pirandello's play. He modeled a non-existent hat and won. That third year, the little boy played Mamilius, which was the son of Leontes, that Rex was playing when he died, carried the throne, or carried the crown in on a pillow, and that one first. So it's always been a mix of uh, great joy and uh, great sorrow. My son Adam's mentor was Luan Alexander, and he was amazing. And um, people, people would buy tickets to plays just because Lee Wan was in it. And, and um, he was truly my son's mentor. He watched Adam perform and decided that this was the young man he wanted to take under his wing. And he did. He even produced a, a midnight project called An Eve, with, An Eve for Adam. And, and it was structured all around Shakespeare's sonnets and scenes, and, and it focused on, on Adam the whole time. So he, he worked very, very closely with my son. And when he got sick, um, 
he, he came to us, and we were his family here in town. And, and he, he ate dinner at our house every night and, and ended up living with us um, at the end of his life. And it was um, a gift. It was a real gift to be on that journey with him at the end. But it was the hardest thing in the world, of course. And, and so Daedalus is Luan. In fact, theater to me is Luan. He's, he, he comes with me every time I come to the theater.